rescue, we'll be drawing horses and we'll be painting them. Are you excited, Sarah? Yes. Yes, I'm excited too. And just remember, kids, remember to like and subscribe this video and our previous video so that you can see more of our interesting videos. Now, let's get started. But before we do, I must transform into my human form. Let's say the magic word. Bibbity, bobbity, boo! Mama, is that you? Yes, it is me. Look, kid, I finally transformed. And now I have my human hands. And now I can finally draw. You ready? Yes! Let's get started. Okay, kids, all we need to start drawing is two pieces of equipment. I'd recommend using a marker and two pieces of paper two pieces just in case you make a mistake okay let's get started let's start by opening our marker ready Sarah and start by step one which is drawing the head we're gonna try to make as big as possible so it can fit in a lovely piece of paper you ready Sarah yeah. okay let's start drawing so just gonna draw like a big big round circle like this okay kids Wow, great job, Sarah. A big head so we can make a big horse. Okay, next step is to draw the ears. And the ears are going to be triangular shaped. Okay, we're going to go up and down, up and down. Okay? Well done, Sarah. Great job. And then we're going to draw smaller triangles in between the ears. One, two, one. Excellent job, Sarah. Next, what we're going to be drawing are the eyes and the nose. So the eyes are going to be big, large circles here. One and two. Then we're going to be drawing two smaller circles inside. So one will be here and it will be slightly smaller over here. We're going to draw the same thing here. One and two. Then we're going to draw like... A crescent here so we're gonna do it like that one and two okay then we're gonna draw smaller lines in here so like straight lines one two three four one two three four okay and next what we're gonna be drawing is another circle in here in the middle like here and inside we're gonna be drawing two dots one two and we're going to draw a smile for the little pony. Looks great so far. Well done, Sarah. Great job. Okay, the next step is going to be drawing the legs of the horse or the pony. So we're going to go down, maybe up to here. And draw like, and we're going to go up halfway the middle. And then we're going to draw like, something like this half a circle like that and then we're gonna draw we're gonna go down same length here right and join it up with the top just like that i'm gonna draw it up well done sarah great job next we're gonna draw the back legs and the back legs are gonna be like maybe around here and we're gonna draw a line down and then curve it and then join it up here okay and do the same thing here, so about the same length. And then curve it and draw it there. There we are. Yeah. Well done, Sarah. You did a great job. That's excellent. Okay, kids. So now we forgot one more thing, and that's to color in the eye here black. So in order to do this, we leave these two circles white and we color in the rest of it black. Of course, this part is going to be a bluish color because we want that to be the color of the horse's eye. So I'm going to color it in here and leaving these two circles blank. And then I'm going to do the same for here. So I'm going to leave it out. And I'm going to just color in the rest of it here. Like that. Okay? Next thing that we're going to do to make it seem like... Oh, well done, Sarah. That's a great job. Well done. Excellent. So the next thing to make it look more like a horse, we're going to have to draw the mane. Because 
It looks kind of like a pig, doesn't it, Sarah? But to make it like a horse, we're going to have to draw the mane of the horse. So we're going to come in up. So we're going to draw up. We're going to draw like triangles up, down, up, down. And we're going to put it down. Okay. It's going to be like the mane of the horse at the top. And then we're going to draw some hair coming down here. So we're going to draw one, two, three, four, and five. Like that. Something like that. To make it seem like a horse. And that looks pretty, doesn't it? Well, excellent job. You did such a great job, Sarah. Wow. You are a great artist. Well done. And next, what we are going to do, before we start drawing any other accessories and the tail, we have to add something around the eye. Now, of course, our horse we decided together with Sarah is going to be a girl. Right, Sarah? So we're going to draw some eyelashes. So we're going to come up here. If any of you girls or anyone wants to do a, uh, a girl pony, so we just come down, flick, down, down. That's one eye done. Next eye, flick, flick, flick. Nice and easy. Okay, that looks great. Well done, sorry. Your horse looks so pretty and lovely. I can't wait to see when it's going to be colored in. And next, we're going to draw the tail. So the tail is going to be like... It's going to come in, out, point, and then it's going to be something of this shape. Okay? Wow, beautiful tail, Sara. It looks lovely. Okay, kids, the last thing that we're going to do to a horse is that we're going to, of course, do some hooves for it. So we're going to come down here, a line here, a line there, and then a line here, and a line there. And now we have finished making a lovely horse here. And well done, Sarah. Those look beautiful. Well done. So next step is going to be painting the horse. Now, before we start painting kids, let me tell you an interesting fact about horses and how they evolved over centuries. The only three colours that existed before domestication, meaning before horses were held and kept on farms by farmers, were bay, spotted and black. And now, the types of colours that now exist are bay, brown, grey, buckskin, black, a pelusa and many more species of horses. A fact about the brown horse is that it's brown with no black points. The colour is more like chocolate and not reddish colour. Whereas the black horse has a black coat and black points. And most black horses have white skin underneath. A fact about the bay horse is that it's any reddish brown or dark brown colour with black points. The box skin horse is a tan or golden colour coat with black points. Whereas the grey horse are often darker at birth and become lighter and lighter with age. Lastly, the Appaloosa horse is spotted or speckled horse, often with the colour of white and black. Kids that know what horse you want to draw, you should better get some nice paints and paintbrushes to start painting or colouring. Now, the horse I want to draw is, a, is called Appaloosa. And that horse is white with black spots on it. Oh. However, Sarah wants to do a... Rainbow horse! Yes! So remember kids, use your imagination. And you don't have to always draw the colour horse the horse actually is. So you can use imagination and draw the horse you want to draw. Like Sarah is doing. painting and drawing with you right Sarah yeah we had lots of fun painting and drawing with you and we had lots of fun adding other pieces of um, things at the background of our picture we thought it would be great to make it look amazing 
I hope you had a lot of fun because we certainly did. Therefore, thank you for watching kids and we hope to see you on our next video where we have even more adventures. Bye for now!